basically the purpose of this recording is that the social me too which we started as a group and then we uh, i've had a web page built i'm not getting enough i'm not getting any stories the things are happening to people all day every day but because of the nature of trauma Gregory and I and Rachel, who may or may not be be able to come, thought, no, we need to change our tack. So we added the humorous or the absurd or hard selling. So basically, this is a call where we just laugh at some of the shit we've got over over social media and uh, through emails. And, you know, I've got six stories of unsolicited emails this morning. So uh, I'll do a quick piece to camera and then introduce yourselves in the usual way. That sort of, you know, and we'll, we'll, I don't know what I'm doing. We'll just take it as we go. Uh, okay, then. <clears throat> Jonathan, not knowing what he's doing, I don't know about that. <laughs> no, well, I, I think it appears as if I know what I'm doing, but what it is, it's it's fake confidence. That's what the beard is. It's overcompensation. Anyway, uh, <laughs> good morning, social media fans, wherever you're picking this up on YouTube, on uh, LinkedIn, or on other social platforms. I'm Jonathan from Social Me Too, and for the next... Uh, 40 minutes we'll probably do five or six or seven little clips for you we're going to talk about the funny the bizarre and the absurd mm -hmm. that you mm -hmm. get on social media because mm -hmm. you'll have had them i got i got six this morning emails from people going Ugh! but anyway we'll get into that so my mm -hmm. guests today are the co-founder gregory austin but i'm not going to come to him next no, they can't see you. It's on me. Cam camera's looking at me. I'm, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to introduce our two guests first. Uh, Jackie Williams, tell us about yourself. Hi, hey, Jonathan. Thank you for the invitation. It's a pleasure to be here. So I am Jackie Williams. I'm founder and director of Adira Consulting. Uh, it's a business that I started in 2020, not long after um, the murder of George Floyd, because I simply wanted to make a contribution to my community. So I thought I'd use the skills that I have, which are around um, governance, corporate governance, charity governance, data protection, HR matters, and risk management. And I would use these to support black owned and ethnic minority businesses to grow sustainable businesses, create their own legacy um, and empower the black community. So um, in addition to that, uh, I'm also a charity trustee. Um, I recently joined the Black Pounds Project as a member of their advisory board. And um, I'm the mother to two beautiful teenage daughters who are my world and who inspire me every day to work as hard as I am. So, so um, quite busy then? Quite busy. Okay, yes. fair enough. All right, yeah, yeah. I'm handling it. So. Yeah, yeah, you're handling it at the moment. Don't worry. Uh, uh, Julie, tell us about yourself. Ooh, wow. I'm Julie, Sylvia Kalunji, and I am the founder of Kalunji Group. And we're all about social media, digital strategy, content development, we've got writers, so we do all those things about writing groups, proofreading, editing, publishing. Um, I'm a best-selling author, mm. all times over, and uh, I love helping women to step up and show up and know that they are powerful. We are powerful. Mm. We birth destinies, not just as human beings, but as the support in the community without women, communities would collapse to be honest. Mm. And uh, so I like to support women to get them to understand that they have the power to step up, show up, and just be amazing. And I do that with Women and Digital Inclusion, which is a charity community interest organization. Um, so the two kind of marry and work together synergistically to serve our community here in Liverpool. And uh, yeah, uh, 